Hey there, fellow seekers of wisdom and self-discovery. Have you ever found yourself stuck in the loop of overthinking every decision, worrying about not being good enough, and constantly striving for that unattainable perfection? Ever catch yourself analyzing a simple choice for hours on end, wondering if it's the absolute best one, or perhaps you've set standards so high, even Mount Everest looks small in comparison. You are welcome to the roller coaster ride of INFJ perfectionism. INFJ perfectionism is a double edged sword. The pursuit of perfection, while admirable in its ambition, can lead us down a rabbit hole of self doubt and burnout. Let's face it, constantly questioning our worth and abilities is a one way ticket to emotional exhaustion. It's time to put on our metaphorical Sherlock Holmes hats and decode the mysteries of our own minds. We will explore seven ways how INFJ perfectionism causes self-doubt and burnout. So, let's start. Number 1. Unrealistic Standards Let's kick things off by peeling back the layers on the INFJ penchant for setting standards so high, they practically touch the stars. Now, having high standards isn't inherently a bad thing. It's what keeps us motivated, pushing ourselves to reach new heights. But, and it's a big but, there's a thin line between motivational standards and, well, the stuff of fantasy novels. Picture this. You set a goal for yourself, something you're passionate about. The motivation is there. The vision is crystal clear and you're ready to conquer the world. Enter the perfectionism monster. Suddenly, that achievable goal transforms into an Everest-like challenge, and you're expected to climb it without breaking a sweat. But guess what? Sweating is inevitable, and suddenly, you're left questioning if you're cut out for this journey. It's not just about the climb, it's about the fall. When we inevitably fall short of these lofty expectations, Self-doubt creeps in like a stealthy ninja. We start questioning our abilities, our worth, and whether we're on the right path. Imagine building a magnificent sandcastle, only to have the tide wash it away. That's what falling short of unrealistic standards feels like. A wave of self-doubt washing away our sense of accomplishment. Now let's get real for a moment. Who hasn't felt that sinking feeling when you realize you didn't meet your own sky-high expectations? It's like the air gets sucked out of the room, and suddenly, we're left grappling with that nagging voice in our heads, whispering, Did you really think you could do this? The toll on our self-worth is no joke. It's time we acknowledge that our pursuit of perfection can sometimes turn into a self-inflicted wound. So, it's okay to aim high, but it's equally important to recognize when those standards start resembling a fantasy novel rather than a realistic roadmap. Number 2. Overanalyzing Decisions Let's shine a spotlight on our knack for deep introspection and the art of contemplating life decisions like we're solving a cosmic puzzle. INFJs, you're probably nodding your heads right now. We love diving into the depths of our minds, considering every angle, and exploring the vast universe of possibilities. It's a gift, really. We're the architects of our destinies, the scholars of our own narratives. But there enters perfectionism, and suddenly, our decision-making process resembles a complex chess game played against an invisible opponent. Picture this. You have a decision to make, and the INFJ introspection engine kicks into high gear. Every possible outcome, every conceivable scenario is laid out on the mental canvas. It's not just considering options, it's dissecting them with surgical precision. And hey, that's not a bad thing, until it is. Perfectionism takes this analytical gift and turns it into a potential curse. The fear of making mistakes becomes a looming shadow, casting doubt on even the most straightforward choices. It's like being handed a menu and worrying that choosing the wrong dish will somehow lead to catastrophic consequences. Now let's talk about the delicate dance between logic and emotion, the eternal tug of war in the INFJ decision-making arena. We're blessed with this magical ability to merge heart and mind, 
But perfectionism often tips the scales. Logic says one thing, emotions another, and suddenly we're caught in a swirling vortex of what-ifs. The what-if mentality is both our greatest ally and fiercest foe. It opens up avenues of creativity and foresight, but it can also be a breeding ground for doubt. What if we make the wrong choice? What if there's a better path we haven't considered? It's like juggling a dozen balls, each representing a potential future, and fearing that dropping one means failure. So, fellow deep thinkers, let's embrace our introspective superpowers, while also recognizing when the pursuit of perfection throws a monkey wrench into the gears. Number three, comparing themselves to others. In the age of curated online lives, INFJs often find themselves in a relentless game of comparison. Scrolling through social media, we witness highlight reels of others' lives, accomplishments, and seemingly perfect moments. Perfectionism, our ever-present companion, turns this innocent observation into a perilous journey. Suddenly, we're not just observers, we're participants in an unspoken competition. Perfectionism, with its knack for setting impossibly high standards, takes the wheel in this comparison game. It's not just about recognizing someone's achievements, it's about measuring our worth against theirs. The result? A breeding ground for feelings of inadequacy and self-doubt. We start questioning our own accomplishments, wondering why our journey doesn't mirror the seemingly flawless paths of others. Constant comparison becomes a silent assailant, chipping away at the foundation of our self-esteem. It's like standing in front of a funhouse mirror, distorting our reflection until we can't recognize the true essence of who we are. The achievements of others, instead of inspiring, become a source of anxiety. Our inner critic, fueled by perfectionism, starts whispering that we're not doing enough, not achieving enough, not being enough. But fear not, brave souls, for understanding is the lantern that can guide us through this murky terrain. We must recognize that the highlight reels we see online are just that, highlights. Behind every success, there's a journey filled with struggles and imperfections. Let's flip the narrative, turning comparison from a destructive force into a source of inspiration. As we navigate this thorny path, let's redefine our perception of personal success. It's not a competition against others, but a journey of self-discovery and growth. The impact of constant comparison is real, but armed with awareness and a healthy perspective. We can reclaim our self-esteem and celebrate our unique journey. Number four, procrastination. Perfectionism, that ever-vigilant guardian of high standards, sometimes takes the helm and steers us into the treacherous waters of procrastination. You see, there's this fear, an irrational fear, that if we don't complete tasks perfectly, the world might tilt on its axis. It's not just about getting things done, it's about getting them done flawlessly. Imagine having a canvas in front of you, and the task at hand is to paint a masterpiece. Sounds exciting, right? But for us INFJs, perfectionism can transform this canvas into a battleground of self-doubt. What if the strokes aren't perfect? What if the colors clash? These questions, born from the fear of imperfection, become anchors, preventing us from even dipping the brush. The fear of not completing tasks perfectly becomes a formidable opponent, and so we delay. Procrastination becomes a shield, protecting us from the possibility of falling short of our own exacting standards. It's not laziness, it's a strategic move, or so our perfectionist minds tell us. But procrastination comes at a cost. It's not just a delay in tasks, it's a delay in our own growth and potential. As we postpone, stress levels rise like tidal waves, crashing over our mental shores. The negative consequences ripple through our self-perception, eroding the confidence we have in our abilities. We start questioning not only our efficiency, but also our worthiness. It's a paradox. The pursuit of perfection, meant to elevate us, sometimes becomes the weight that holds us down.
The masterpiece remains unpainted, and the canvas, instead of being a testament to our creativity, becomes a silent witness to our hesitations. But fret not, fellow sailors, for recognizing this dynamic is the first step in steering our ship away from procrastination's clutches. Let's set sail, not in pursuit of perfection, but in the exhilarating journey of progress. We need to understanding that the imperfect progress is still progress, and the masterpiece lies not in flawlessness, but in the strokes of resilience and perseverance. Number 5. Rumination on Mistakes INFJs, blessed with the gift of hindsight, have a propensity for replaying scenarios in our minds. It's like having an internal movie reel that plays our past mistakes on a loop. But beware, for perfectionism eagerly takes the director's chair, turning this natural reflection into a full-fledged drama. Suddenly, every misstep becomes a scene in a tragedy, with self-doubt and eroded confidence as the protagonists. Perfectionism intensifies this rumination, turning it from a tool for growth into a battleground of self-criticism. We analyze every decision, every choice, as if they were pages from a sacred book. The fear of imperfection turns mistakes into monsters, lurking in the shadows of our minds and haunting us when we least expect it. Imagine the weight of every mistake, real or perceived, pressing down on your shoulders. It's not just a memory. It's a heavy burden carried forward, influencing our present and casting shadows on our future. We start questioning not just the actions, but the very essence of who we are. But, and this is a beacon of hope, it's crucial to shift our perspective. Mistakes are not chains that bind us. They are stepping stones on the path to growth. Perfectionism may amplify the intensity of our self-reflection, but it's within these moments of contemplation that we find the seeds of resilience and wisdom. It's time to break free from the cycle of self-doubt. Mistakes are not personal shortcomings. They are guideposts on our journey, pointing us towards areas where we can learn and evolve. The importance lies not in avoiding mistakes, but in embracing them as opportunities for growth. Number 6. Difficulty Delegating INFJs, driven by high standards, often find it challenging to delegate tasks. It's not that we doubt others' abilities, but rather, it's the fear that they won't meet our standards. Perfectionism, our ever-watchful first mate, raises an eyebrow and whispers, what if they don't understand the nuances? What if they can't capture the vision as we do? This reluctance to delegate isn't merely a preference for hands-on involvement. It's a fear that delegating might lead to results that fall short of our perfectionist ideals. But here's where the plot thickens. This reluctance, this hesitation to share the load, can be the very anchor that pulls us into the dangerous shallows of burnout. Imagine steering a ship alone through turbulent waters, the waves of responsibility crashing over you. The reluctance to delegate tasks becomes a heavy cargo, weighing down the vessel of our well-being. Burnout, like a relentless storm, looms on the horizon. It's not a matter of capability, but a struggle to let go of control, to admit that we can't handle everything on our own. The paradox lies in this very struggle. By avoiding delegation, we paradoxically contribute to feelings of inadequacy. We question our ability to handle the workload alone. Yet the fear of others not meeting our standards keeps us from seeking the help we need. It's a loop of hesitation that tightens around us, a paradoxical dance where the very act of preserving control undermines our confidence. We need to realize that the delegation is not a sign of weakness, it's a strategic maneuver in the vast sea of collaboration. It's time to embrace the paradox, recognizing that true strength lies not just in our ability to steer the ship, but also in our wisdom to share the helm. Let's cast off the anchors of perfectionism, delegate with purpose, and navigate towards a horizon where burnout is but a distant memory. Number 7. Conditional Self-Worth Perfectionist INFJs with their innate desire for excellence, 
often fall into the trap of linking self-worth to external achievements. It's like crafting a masterpiece and then determining the worth of the artist based on the applause it receives. But what happens when the applause fades? Or worse, when setbacks cast a shadow over the canvas of accomplishments? The impact is profound. Conditional self-worth becomes a delicate house of cards, standing tall when the winds of success blow favorably, but crumbling at the slightest gust of setbacks or perceived insufficient accomplishments. It's not just about celebrating victories. It's about navigating the stormy seas of self-doubt when the sails of achievements momentarily luff. Setbacks for the perfectionist INFJ become more than just stumbling blocks. They become mirrors reflecting perceived inadequacy. The mind, accustomed to associating self-worth with achievements, starts questioning its own value in the absence of constant success. It's a silent struggle, an internal dialogue that echoes with the question, if I'm not achieving, what value do I bring? But here's the beacon of light in this complex terrain. The realization that self-worth is not a fluctuating currency dependent on external validation. It's an intrinsic, immutable essence that transcends the highs and lows of life's journey. It's understanding that setbacks are not reflections of personal inadequacy, but opportunities for growth and resilience. It's time to untangle the threads of conditional self-worth from the tapestry of achievements. Let's cultivate a garden where our sense of worth blossoms, not just in the sunlight of success, but also in the nurturing rain of self-acceptance. Setbacks are not the end of the road. They are bends in the journey. Let's separate our self-worth from the external scoreboard and embrace the truth that our inherent value goes beyond the tangible markers of success. And so, here we reach the shores of our exploration. Understanding and addressing these aspects of INFJ perfectionism can be transformative on the journey of personal growth and well-being. I encourage each one of you, dear viewers, to share your experiences and strategies for overcoming INFJ perfectionism in the comments section. If you found these insights into INFJ perfectionism useful, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more valuable insights.